baking soda and oatmeal for skin whitening. Most people suffer from some type of unwanted skin darkening caused by a range of reasons such as chafing, sun exposure, freckles, scars, acne, skin irritations, pigmentation, skin allergies, rashes. But it doesn't have to cost a lot to fix this problem. Baking soda is an excellent remedy for treating uneven skin while also brightening it. Baking soda acts as an exfoliator, skin brightener, teeth whitener, etc. It is a natural, effective and cost-affordable remedy. How Baking Soda Helps to Whiten the Skin Baking soda is composed of sodium and a pH neutralizer which exfoliates the dead skin cells throughout the skin. The pH of baking soda helps to neutralize the acid-alkaline nature of the skin. It acts as an exfoliant that removes the cellular damage in the darkened skin. Regular application will make your skin whiter, softer and shinier. It has antibacterial, antifungal, antiseptic and anti-inflammatory properties that clear all the infection on the skin along with its scars. It acts as good oil, absorbing agent to clear excess oil. It evens the skin tone and prevents the buildup from clogged pores. It deeply cleanses skin by absorbing the excess oil. How Oatmeal Helps to Whiten the Skin The saponin in oatmeal cleanses skin to remove the toxins that cause discoloration. Oatmeal exfoliates to remove dirt, oil, and dead skin cells. The lipids and proteins in oatmeal moisturize and nourish skin. Oatmeal contains antioxidants that repair damaged skin. Oatmeal absorbs excess oil to prevent it from clogging pores. The amino acids in oatmeal lighten scars, dark spots, and discoloration. Oatmeal evens out skin tone and gives it a natural glow. It is suitable for all skin types without any negative reactions. Baking Soda and Oatmeal for Skin Whitening Use a blender to grind 2 tablespoons oatmeal into powder. Add 1 teaspoon baking soda and enough water to make a thick paste. Apply to discolored skin and leave on until dry. Rinse with cold water and pat dry. Repeat 3 times a week. 